Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'd like to speak into the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C, and the theme, Do Not Be Ashamed. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 1 to 12 and 17 to 20, it's the story of the sending out of the 72 disciples, and Jesus' instructions to them were that their first words on entering a house were to be, Peace to this house. They were to be ambassadors of peace and goodwill. Without peace, nothing is possible. So do we have peace? Many of us have suffered, that I know. In my work with people for so many years, 40 years, we have suffered, so many. But can we accept our wounds, our suffering, and not be bitter or ashamed? This is the message for today. Sol Zenitsyn said, people can live through great hardships, yet perish from hard feelings. I want to read you a few stories. Forty years after leaving Auschwitz, the Italian writer Primo Levi still bore the tattoo with the number he got while there. When people asked him why he didn't erase it, he replied, why should I? There are not so many of us left in the world to bear witness. Next story. Alexander Sozinsen says he still has the four patches bearing the number he was given in the prison camps. He was not the only one to have brought them out of the camps. Far from being ashamed of these, he says, in some houses they will be shown to you like holy relics. Story three. Nor was St. Paul ashamed of the marks he carried on his body because of Christ. In fact, he quietly drew attention to them. In the second reading, Galatians 6, 14 to 18, he said to the Galatian, Galatians, the marks on my body are those of Christ. By marks, he meant the scars left on his body by hardship, illness, flogging, stoning, and so on. And of course, this story, Jesus. Jesus kept the marks of the nails and the spear on his risen body. He didn't shed them, he could have. But Jesus did not shed these wounds, he retained them. For him, these wounds were not things to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. My wounds and your wounds. I, you know, I've got to share out of my story again. I remember hiding for years what had happened to me as a little girl. I would do public speaking and conferences and professional development days for teachers and I'd say I had a very difficult childhood. It was like I, I couldn't own the wounds. Um, it was something that I had to gradually let go the shame of, gradually accept that God had allowed that for me and out of that he was going to and was bringing great good. But it was a process and it was a journey and it was a healing and it was a restoration and it was an acceptance. But I can remember a few years ago, I remember saying to Jesus, thank you for the privilege of suffering, for I have been able to help quite a few people. And now I'm not ashamed of my story. I can actually share where it's appropriate, the severity of what has happened to me. So many people hide their scars. So many people deny their wounds. So many people carry the shame. Shame means you don't feel enough. And sometimes things that other people have done to us make us feel not enough. But can I invite you today to join your sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross and say to him, you have allowed this, you will bring good out of it, and you will bring vindication to me. And can I say that I have peace and I can give peace because I'm not ashamed of my wounds and of my scars and I invite you to come to a place today to ask God to make possible what you cannot make possible. I hope this message touched you today and God bless you. Christ knows your wounds and he cares for you deeply. Talk to you again next week.